How exactly does the Scoville system work? I've had hot sauce before that doesn't seem to line up with the system in terms of spice level. The reason we call it the Scoville scale is because in, I think, 1911, there was a pharmacist named Wilbur Scoville who was actually working on what would become like icy hot. So the hot in icy hot, it comes from capsaicin from chili peppers, and mm -hmm. he wanted a way to measure how hot he was making things, the chilies that he was using. So he came up with this scale, and what it means is, you know, something measures a thousand on the Scoville scale, that for one drop of the chili distillate, that it would take a thousand drops of water until a panel of three expert tasters didn't taste the heat anymore. The problem with that scale was it was totally subjective. For example, Noah might use 10,000 drops to get rid of a jalapeno, where I might use 100. So science caught up with the Scoville scale, and there was a machine invented called an HPLC, a high-performance liquid chromatograph. We were able to come up with a scientific method that measure the amount of capsaicin that's actually in a pepper using this machine. Let's just use the ghost pepper. When it became the world record, it was about a million Scoville heat units. That million Scoville heat units is the amount of capsaicin that is in this pepper. Well, there's a dilution factor that comes with each ingredient that's in the hot sauce. You're starting with a pepper that has a million Scoville, but then you're adding two or three ounces of vinegar. That dilution factor just brought that down to less than 100,000 Scoville heat units. Yeah, I think that's where people yeah. get the most confused. It's really designed for chili peppers, not for sauces.